So I wanted to really test Dollar Tree vinyl. A lot of you guys have said, have you tried Dollar Tree vinyl? And I'm like, that sounds really bad. And then I was like, well, if we try Dollar Tree vinyl, we probably have to compare it to something. So we're making two road trips today and luckily they're at the same place. So we're going to Dollar Tree, um, go get the Dollar Tree vinyl. And then after that, we're gonna grab Cricket vinyl. So we're doing a head to head comparison on Dollar Tree vinyl and just regular good old Cricket vinyl and see if Dollar Tree vinyl is even worth buying um, from a cost perspective or do we even like Dollar Tree vinyl? Cause like, it would be cool if we could give a good stamp of approval for the Dollar Tree vinyl. Like, I, like I'm rooting for the Dollar Tree vinyl. Um, the colors from what I've seen online, not my favorite, but definitely I think for some of us, we could totally use it for, you know, projects we need to just get done real quick. So let's head to the Dollar Tree. Dollar, 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 chop Dollar Tree. You wanna know something funny? My mama has me go take her to Dollar Tree sometimes and she calls it where everything's a dollar. And I said, Mama, where are we? And she'll be like, ugh, I know, everything's a dollar. <laughs> but she still loves to ask, it's so cute. Boom. We made it to the Dollar Tree. Okay. Dylan, when was the last time you went to a Dollar Tree? Yesterday. Nuh uh. <laughs> you went yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I've not been in a while, and it's Halloween time. Okay, y'all, I ordered the vinyl <laughs> from the website because I didn't think they would have it. But look what they actually have. They have the vinyl. This is crazy. So it's called Crafter Square. Um, I'm actually, I cannot wait to show you the box that I actually ordered. I had to order 36 rolls, but we're still going to buy this because look, there's glitter vinyl. So now we have to get glitter vinyl from Cricut to test too. So I'm getting a bunch of vinyl. They only have glitter. This must be really popular stuff because um, all they have is glitter. And they also have pop dot tape, hmm. double sided tape. They have little glass, okay. This is actually cool. Look at this. For a dollar, you get quite a few. Seven. I actually had it. Courtney is not gonna believe this. I just can't believe they had the vinyl. It's like they knew we were coming. Okay, let's let's get out. We we got what we need. And some other things. If you're going on a 30, you hey, for all our vinyl, how about that? So tell us about the experience that this lady just gave you because I didn't tell her. <laughs> well, guys, we just had someone, after I freaked out over the vinyl, they, we had a friend come out and say, just in the aisle, it was like, I've used it, it works, and her only review was, works just as great cuts great but for the glitter she said sometimes wasn't near sticky so we're gonna compare it to some glitter vinyl of Cricut um, so we're super excited to go to Hobby Lobby I mean I can't believe they had it they had some other stuff too so we're gonna actually compare that um, they had a craft knife in here um, so I've never used their their exacto knife it was only a dollar so we spent look at that we only spent ten dollars that's a that's a crafter it's a crafters dream so let's go to Hobby Lobby Dylan needs a seatbelt on. Dylan just wanted you all to know, just because you can't be here, that I just parked and parked over there, and then I then I parked over here at the Hobby Lobby. Because who wants to walk all that way? I mean, it could start raining on us at any time, so I'm gonna get some vinyl. Oh, the children would love these cups. I wonder if they ever watch the show. Got them a cup. Look at all this material. But is this Cricut brand? So what I find really interesting about Hobby Lobby is that Paper Studio has taken over. Like this whole this whole thing is 50% off and it's Paper Studio. So 
we might compare Paper Studio, but I'm trying to find exactly the Cricut brand to compare it to. So they have premium vinyl. So this is, so Dylan, 12 inches by 48 inches, which is exactly what we got over at Dollar Tree. This is $14.99, $14.99. So we're gonna, we're gonna compare this exactly. So we got this and then let's get some glitter to compare as well. I don't think they even sell Cricut glitter vinyl here. No, this is, this is silhouette. This is holographic, holographic crystal, premium holographic sparkle. No glitter. Cricut, they're not getting any shelf space here at Hobby Lobby. But let me tell you, Paper Studio, boom, they got everything. So we're gonna get some um, glitter Paper Studio uh, if we can find just regular glitter vinyl. Not glitter vinyl. Maybe, this is actually probably a potential thing. Glitter vinyl, if you guys know, cuts horribly. <laughs> So maybe Hobby Lobby was like, you know what, we're cutting our losses with all the glitter vinyl because I can't see any glitter vinyl to compare it to, which is fine because of course the Maker's Glowing Craft Room has got our back. So we'll just use that. And we did get a $15 roll of Cricut vinyl because it's not even on sale. But if we got the Paper Studio, it was 50% off this week. So just to let you guys know the differences and things like that, I'm excited to see what a $15 roll versus a dollar roll of vinyl is about to do for us. So let's go check it out. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you about this. Yeah. I can take you on four. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, guys, we're heading back to the studio. We have a $14, $15 roll of vinyl and a dollar roll of vinyl. Like, can this even be a true comparison? Like, actually it is, because we're matching it down to the color. Um, but I'm very excited to see which one. They're the same exact sizes, everything like that. So let's go and put these to the, the true test. We'll see. Okay, there comes the charm. Oh no! I dropped the roll of mama. I'm gonna grab that roll of mama. <laughs> Got it. We're back at the studio. We have everything laid out here. As you guys can already tell, I mean, it's a pretty hard comparison because you've got the dollar vinyl and you have the $15 vinyl. Now to give you all just a quick like fact check, we pulled up the cost per square foot because honestly the cost per square inch was so minuscule. I wanted you all to be able to grasp it a little bit better. So these are one foot by four feet rolls. From Cricut, you're paying $15, $14.99 plus tax. For this Crafter Square permanent vinyl from the Dollar Tree, um, you're paying 25 cents per square foot because it's only a dollar for the full roll. Now with the Cricut per square foot, you're paying $3.75 per square foot. So as you can see here, Per square foot, which is pretty much a full craft mat, right? Like a full mat, you're paying 25 cents for one mat of vinyl. And for Cricut, you're paying $3.75 um, per craft mat. So for a full mat's worth of vinyl, um, $3.75 versus a quarter. Isn't that crazy? Um, so I'm really excited to see how it cuts, how it weeds, how it feels, and most importantly, like, what's gonna happen like durability. Like I feel like there's got to be a follow-up video to try to see the durability. So let's go ahead and, you know, take some of this vinyl out. So I'm really excited to see how it feels. Now right out of the gate, it's going to feel like this Dollar Tree vinyl is like not as quality because in Cricut, they have like a really sturdy, like piece of um, like cardboard. They have a really sturdy piece of cardboard in here. Um, so it makes it feel like really good. Like it feels like a really quality, like you're buying something really expensive. When you pick up the dollar store vinyl, it feels like quite a bit lighter, but really the only thing they took away was that really big piece of cardboard in there. Um, so when you pull this out, 
you get the vinyl. And again, it says it's permanent vinyl. Um, it is a little glossy. Now I will say right out of the gate, you can tell the backing is a little papery. Like imagine the fill of copy paper on the back of the vinyl. And what I wanna do here right out of the gate before we even start cutting, is I wanna see how it peels up. Oh, I wanna see how it peels up. Now I will say right out of the gate as well, it's a thinner, a thinner vinyl. Um, it's not super thick, but I'm not sure how thick we have to have for a vinyl project. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm not saying you have to have super thick vinyl all the time. You can tell, I mean, I've only touched it a few times, but it kind of isn't super, super thick, sticky, um, which can sometimes be troublesome for lifespan. Like I'm worried about lifespan with this vinyl, not so much for um, like a seasonal project. I'm, I'm more so worried, like if you're gonna use this for something you wanna still have like five years from now, like is it go hold up, right? Like with Cricut vinyl, we know that, but you're also paying almost $4 for per square foot. So let's open this up and just kinda have a comparison here real quick of what they feel like and the differences. So again, this is gonna be really good. Um, that piece of cardboard in the center here really makes it just feel like you've really bought something really good. Um, so we're gonna take, it comes with a little plastic piece. So we're gonna take that off. And then this can, you obviously I love the backing. Um, the new Cricut vinyl, I don't super, super love how thick it is because it's actually, I think kind of too thick. Um, but you can tell it's a quality. And then if you peel this up just a hair, you're gonna see if we're able to even peel it up. Oh, here we go. Okay, so you can peel this back some, and you're gonna see the stickiness is a little stickier, but not as much as I thought. What I do like about this vinyl is that you can tell it's sturdy. Like the vinyl is very sturdy. Um, this was a little bit thinner. So what I'm thinking is um, if you had this like yellow, say on like a black surface, I wonder if it would end up being a little translucent instead of being able to really show up very yellow and vibrant because there should not be any um, transparency in vinyl. Um, so that's one of the things I'm kind of interested to know about. So maybe we'll apply whatever we cut out on a dark surface to see, is this still thick enough? Because this we know this is really thick vinyl, but can this be th thick enough to hold up? So that's what I'm kind of interested about. So let's go ahead and get these vinyls on a mat and pick out a design because we really want to push this to the test of cutting out something pretty intricate. So I thought I could just put the material on the mat and not be an issue. Like, boring but look at this big air bubble we have this huge air bubble that just like popped up out of nowhere so what we're gonna do i even bought a craft knife from the dollar store for this video um we're gonna use it to cut the material and then we're gonna get the air bubble out so this is something that you would never see happen in like 651 vinyl cricket vinyl anything like that is air bubbles just appearing um it's not a life or death situation here my friends you can literally just like smooth it out we can grab a burnishing tool look at that so you can literally just rub it out um, with the burnishing tool with your finger, anything like that, but it is very annoying. So I'm gonna get a burnishing tool. Grab my burnishing tool, look at that. So we can we can fix it, it's fixable, but if you end up working with dollar store vinyl, and I'm telling you, like I rolled it out and this just started happening. So it's already ready to go on our mat. Um, we're gonna look at the different material settings when we get time to cut this. So we're gonna let the dollar store vinyl cut on the Cricut Explorer Air 3, and then the Cricut vinyl is gonna cut on the Maker 3. So um, let's see, just to show you how easy it is to kind of take the material. I mean, this is actually really thick material. Um, so it's super, super thick, and it shouldn't cause us any issues. Yeah, it went down perfectly. I have a big bubble underneath but not on the vinyl. So what happened in this one was the bubble was on the vinyl to transfer sheet and that bubble was just underneath the mat. So this is actually really thick material. So take our little craft knife, take that off and we're ready to cut something great. So let's pick something from the library of thousands of cut files at makersgonnalearn.com. 
All right, so we went to the Makers and Learn Library of thousands of cut falls. We browsed through the cut falls and we ended up picking this one that says, don't worry, be happy. It's really simple to download the cut fall from our website, unzip the cut fall, and just drag and drop it to Design Space. After that, I just went ahead and sized it to what we're applying it to today, which we are applying it to a pot. Um, so that will be fun to compare each side of the pot with the different bottles. So this is going to be challenging with the intricate cuts, but I think it's going to be really great. And I've decided that actually it's going to be best to use the same machine, the same blade, everything for this project. So we're just going to use the Cricut Explore 3 for today's project. All right, we're starting with the star of the show today. This is the Dollar Tree vinyl on our first mat, and we're going to select the premium vinyl permanent glossy setting. So we're gonna select that. We're gonna now be in, able to load this into our machine. And what I wanna do before we jump into it, after we load this, is I'm gonna take out my fine point blade. I want this to be the best I can. So I'm gonna examine the blade and be like, is this the cleanest, best blade ever? Like. We just gotta clean that real quick. So make sure there's no debris on it from another pass cut project. Sometimes when you're working with the fine point blade, you wanna be very careful about that. So just open it up, put it back in there, and now we can press the flashing play button to start the cutting process. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Not good. Do, do you see, do you see that the vinyl couldn't even stay down while it's cutting? And this is permanent vinyl and this is glossy. So the setting should be, uh, no, I wanted this to look good. I'm getting nervous. Okay, now we did push this to the challenge. No, 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 no. Here, here's the deal. We have to be honest with ourselves. Like, I had so much faith in this vinyl. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's the setting. Oh. Okay. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. So, but I, I'm not saying it's over. Like I'm not, I'm not saying it's over. So if we take a look at it, you can see right here that what happened is the vinyl, after it cut, like it seemed to cut well, but the vinyl is just not sticky enough to stay down after it got moved around. So what I think is like, let's first of all, like acknowledge that maybe the setting was too much. We're gonna flip it over and we're gonna change the pressure because sometimes this could happen to any material. This is a new material that I've worked with, you've worked with, so I want you guys to see what we're doing. So just take a deep breath with me. We're gonna come over here. We have it set to premium vinyl permanent glossy. So my gut says we could either do less pressure or we could go over here and say, you know what, let's use, um, let's browse and let's call this a removable vinyl because I think if we, um, you know, go with a removable choice and just say this is, say, repositionable or removable mat or something like that, that might be a better setting. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to give it a little bit less pressure. So hopefully it will still cut but it's giving us just a little bit less pressure. So I took the mat where we cut here. This is a little hack if you don't care to waste a little material, flip it over. So we're loading this back in. We went with a little bit less pressure. It's gonna be still great. I can feel it that this, this could just be what we needed. This could be what we needed. One of the downfalls I do have to share with you guys is when you're working with material, that's not cricket material, the settings you have to play with it a little bit. So if you wanna save the money, with this material, you might have to play with it. You might have to change around the settings and things like that because Cricut really only optimizes their own materials. So, uh, doing the same thing, guys. Less pressure. Oh. Mm. 
So maybe we're pushing it to the limit too much. Maybe we're giving it too much pressure um, or you know, trying to cut a really small design. This is almost four inches, so I feel like it's a pretty decently sized decal, um, but it's still having issues, unfortunately. This is not good. I was so proud of this vinyl. I had never used it. Uh, I'm so disappointed. No. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna unload this. We're gonna take like a five, 10 minute intermission. I'm gonna try a different blade and we're gonna see like what we can make happen because this is, this is not any, there's nothing to work with here. But I really wanna make sure that this, if we're giving it our all for, for you guys. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try some other stuff real quick. So we'll see if we're able to even get this to work. Ah! Now guys, I tested, Courtney suggested I drop it down to washi sheets. That's how thin this vinyl is. Like, and it cut, but I do have to tell you, I cut it bigger. So it's six, almost six by six, and it's a little bit bigger, but it cut through really well. I do have to say it cut through really well. Um, there was two little issues down here, but they're manageable. Like we can work with this. Like we can totally, totally work with this. So now we're gonna sit this here, but we're gonna grab our Cricut sheet. So now we're gonna use the Cricut Permanent Premium Vinyl. That's a mouthful. Um, and we're gonna cut this out and we can use the actual premium permanent vinyl setting and it should cut perfect. So we're gonna see here and I have to note for this mat, I actually put a fresh blade in the fine point blade. So again, maybe even here at Makers we learn we're not changing our blades enough um, just to make sure they're fresh blades. But I even cleaned it before I did one of these cuts. So again, a fresh blade. So now we're able to load this into the machine. And again, it's a little bit less than six by six. So it's measuring the mat like it always does now. And now we can press the play button and it'll start cutting. It's looking pretty good. And again, this whole sheet's about almost $4. So like we're hoping there's no mistakes here. All right, so we cut through and the verdict is it cut great, it cut great. So now the question is, which one will weed better for this process? So let's go ahead. We're going to get our burnishing tool. We're gonna to burnish the vinyl down. We're gonna cut the excess off just like we typically would. And we're gonna start the weeding process. All right, my friends, so you have two special tools for today's process. We've already burnished. I now have a pin pin tool and I have a traditional weeding tool. So I like to take the traditional weeding tool after we've burnished, I like to go to the outer edge. So when we start peeling it back, this is where, in my opinion, if you can get the setting down, this is where push comes to shove. And it weeded pretty good. Um, I'm pretty impressed. Now the true test, when we go in with the pin pin tool going in for those inner pieces. Guys, this is not bad. Like you can see, it had some issues right here um, with these pieces, but ultimately, not a bad situation. And I'm loving it. So it weeds pretty well. It is a little bit thinner vinyl, so I'm excited to put it on a darker surface to see what happens. You can tell it's a lot flimsier 
and I will say I'm having to be a lot more delicate with this material compared to the Cricut material or 651 or any other vinyl really that we work with. But I think that's what you're going to expect with this more um, affordable dollar store quality vinyl. Like you're gonna have to be able to give up some of that quality just to get, I mean, the vinyl for 15th the price, you know what I'm saying? Like, does it work? Kind of. Um, would I recommend it for projects you're selling? Probably not. Um, but again, this is good to know. Okay, we weeded it and that's really important. If we can get it weeded, I'm sure we can get it transferred with our transfer tape. Now, honestly, weeding the Cricut vinyl should be pretty simple. Like this is actually a pretty thick vinyl. So I don't use it too much, but let me tell you, this is some thick vinyl. Like you can hear it break off when I'm weeding it. Um, and you definitely do not experience that with the Dollar Tree vinyl. Trying to save this little piece here. And look at that. Look at this. Okay. So it's pretty much getting the inner pieces pretty well. I mean, pretty comparable, honestly. Um, it is a little bit thicker, like we mentioned, which is fun. Um, but now we're getting those inside pieces. And now we'll be able to take our pin pin tool or whatever tool you prefer. I love the pin pin for those inner pieces. Um, so we'll go ahead and grab those. And you can tell the Cricut just had such easy cuts. I'm not having to be super delicate getting these out. I'm actually having to apply some force. So as long as you're willing to be delicate and you know get used to the Dollar Tree vinyl, I mean, so far so good. All right, so both of these have been weeded. So now we're gonna grab some transfer tape and we're gonna do the transferring process for each of these vinyls. All right, star of the show. We have the paper transfer tape because we are working with the Dollar Tree vinyl today. It is a little bit thinner. So thinner vinyls like this for sure, like using the paper transfer tape. We're gonna take it here. We're gonna burnish it down. And I really hope it transfers well because honestly, I've been able to master what cut setting it needs. You know, you're not gonna cut probably super um, intricate cuts, but hey, this is still a 15th of the price. Ooh, so as you see here, um, even at the washi tape setting, it cut through the backing and the vinyl is just like not able to stay down. So let's see how it transferred over. Surprisingly well, it's pretty weird that it somehow did not have any issues getting on the transfer tape, which is pretty interesting. So now we're gonna grab our pot and we're gonna apply the vinyl to the pot. So we're gonna take our vinyl and we're just gonna apply it here. I'm gonna flip it over so you can actually read it. And we're just gonna apply it down. So just like so. And boy, is it almost the exact size of our cut. I'm gonna take my finger in here, really burnish the vinyl in. Again, we wanna have a good cut, like we wanna have a good transfer. And now that I've burnished down, you know, with the burnishing tool, with my fingers as well, because it is a curved surface, we can take the paper transfer tape and try to peel it back. And guys, it's not wanting to stay down. And again, I did clean this with rubbing alcohol. Like I'm having to pretty much force it down. Um, which can be pretty difficult, especially with something that we cleaned with rubbing alcohol. And I actually went with paper transfer tape today so that I could get a better apply because I don't want to have to have this struggle. So I'm gonna really burnish and hopefully you can just peel it at a different angle. It is very translucent as I expected. So as we peel up, Oh, that's transferring pretty good. Okay, so we've applied it. And as you can see here, this is a very, it's very translucent. So when we transfer the other and put it on, you'll see that that will be like very yellow. Like this, you can see the black through, which screams cheap and low quality to me. And I don't love that. So on the other side, we're gonna put the other vinyl, the Cricut brand vinyl. So let's transfer that real quick too. I'm gonna grab another piece of paper transfer tape. And 
and we're gonna take this. And I'm actually excited to see how paper transfer tape does with this thick vinyl. Like this is some thick vinyl guys, like high quality. Um, not saying I use it a lot, but I love using it, but it is definitely a thicker material than normal with paper transfer tape. But I'm trying to keep this super fair for everyone, for everyone involved. And I don't know what's up with me today, but I've messed up both backing sheets of the of the tape. And I will say, this never happens to me. It's a very odd day. But again, we're gonna burnish right back here. And then we're gonna peel back. And oh, it is staying down really well. How about that? Okay, so now we have the other side of the pot and we're just gonna place it down and apply it. So again, we're gonna burnish with our finger to really work on the whole pot, just like so. We wanna make sure that this is gonna stay down for us. Okay, and just as I suspected, you guys can totally tell the difference. If we could put this side by side on the camera, like look at how well this did in comparison to the counterpart. Like you can tell the color just is not as vibrant, just not as um, crisp. And obviously you guys know working with the Dollar Store vinyl was a little bit more difficult. Um, so this was Dollar Store. This was the Cricut vinyl. So again, you guys can see that price comparison definitely you know, changes the game. The Cricut vinyl cut perfect the first cut. Um, there was no real issues with weeding. There was no real issues with the transfer process. But with the cutting and the transfer process of that Dollar Tree vinyl, you know, there were definitely some issues. So what do you guys think? Do you love Dollar Tree vinyl? Like, I don't hate it. I think for 15th of the price, there's so many projects that are quick, easy, removable, that I could totally now have that in my back pocket to say, hey, let's go grab that because I wanna save my really nice high quality vinyl for projects that I know I need to have around the house um, for a long time and the durability to last. So this has been eye opening for me. I mean, the first two cuts trying to cut this as regular vinyl definitely were some craft fails, guys. Like it definitely was not easy. And this is one of the things where we talk to you guys about in Makers and Learns membership. In our training courses, you get for free when you're a year member, you need to invest in material that is great. So if you're trying to take the cheap way out every single time, you're going to see that it's going to cause you to have more craft fails. It's gonna be harder to master. Notice I didn't say impossible to master, it's just gonna be harder to master. So, you know, bear with us, um, you know, and bear with yourself if you are taking that route. I have no shame in using the awesome vinyl from the Dollar Tree, because I think, again, it worked pretty good, um, but it definitely could have worked better. If they could make it a little bit thicker and maybe a little bit stickier, it would be very comparable to what else is on the market. But until then, I don't know if I'll be adding it to something that I would use on a craft project for you guys at home. So guys, thank you so much for being part of this comparison with us today. I loved going to the dollar store. I can't believe they had it there. I loved going to Hobby Lobby. I mean, when was the last time we went on a a little road trip during a video. So I wanna know if you enjoyed that. Do you wanna see more videos like this where we give open, honest comparisons and work through the cricket not working for us and like what we're walking you guys through how we exactly fixed it? If so, leave me a comment down below. Like the video if you loved it here. Um, subscribe for more cricket videos. We make cricket videos every single week and it's super fun. And I wanna invite you, if you love this video, if you love the training here, we can teach you how to master your machine give you access to thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, a commercial license to make money with your crafts, and so much more. So check out our membership link down below, and we'd love to have you in our community. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye now.